What was the hardest thing about coming here besides the language? My family. Do you not have any other family here besides your husband? No. I'm be alone with him. How many brothers and sisters? How many of the do you have? Uh, four. Oh, and one sister and three brothers. Three brother. And I miss my mom and all my family. Does your father live with your mother? Yes. So you left your whole family behind. Podemos cambiar de conversación. Ah. Glennie, did you have a hard time eating the food when you came here? Um, I made my food. So. You made your own food? Yeah. Are you the oldest in your family? Yeah. ¿Tú eres la mayor de la familia? Mm-hmm. No. The, about my sister. Oh, you're the oldest girl in your family. I'm in the middle. The first one oh. have uh, two boys, then it's me, and then that's my sister and my little brother. Oh. So did you cook a lot in your house? Mm -hmm. What did you cook? If, if the students were to come and visit you, what would they expect to eat? Um, I'll make him bananas. <laughs> what would you do with the bananas? <laughs> Fried bananas. <laughs> what does your Mexican husband, your Mexican American husband, think about these bananas? Because I know he didn't. Uh, he don't like it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, he like um, bananas. Like chile. <laughs> he eat too much chile. Mucho, mucho chile. Um, tortillas, beans. What do you think about his food? I good. Um, I like beans. I don't like tortillas. But. Mm. So how do you fix your beans? Um, I don't know. Do you ever eat them with bananas? ¿Quieres a tu mamá? ¿Quieres a mami? Junior. Junior. Mira la cama de Didi. Sí, te quiero, mami. Sandra. ¿Quieres a mami? Well, as you can see, there is a lot of aluminum foil on this woman's head. And I've never witnessed these things before so this is all a surprise to me but it looks like pretty soon this part will be done and I will bet that all of the muchachas who are watching this already know what's going on and where this is headed but this is the first time for me Glennie mm -hmm. I I want to ask you one question because people are going to want to know and then I will let the question go but tengo que hacerte una pregunta. Okay. Eh, yo sé que que te da dolor, pero es una pregunta que tenemos que saber. Ya sé, mi familia. Okay. Es que tu mamá ustedes se llevan muy bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ahora cuánto tiempo que no se ven? ¿Cuánto? Ocho años. Ocho años, ¿qué hay? Imposible pensar. ¿Y cuándo se van a ver? No sé. Cuando yo pueda ir allá a Honduras. Cuando yo quiera. I was making a mistake that I don't normally make. I was addressing Glenny with the tú form of you, which you know is the more informal way of saying you. But as you listen to her talking to her little boy, you will notice that she is teaching him both forms, the informal and the more formal. Tú and usted. 
I know that all of them considered her worthy of being referred to with the more formal you, usted. And then after a while, it would be okay to use the tu form. But when you use the usted form for a while at first, then people know that you know the difference and that you are preferring to give them more respect in the beginning. So you like this part best. <laughs> Glenny says she likes this part best because she gets a head massage. We have a Panamanian here with us today too. So we've had a lot of countries in here. We've had Panama, Mexico, Honduras. Levántese, hijo, venga. Glenny's husband works here in the area and uh, when she has a chance to go back to see her family in Honduras, she's going to take her, their son with her and spend a good long while there. But she doesn't like to talk about it because it makes her sad, but I asked her just enough that would help everybody understand what it's like to come to another country. Well, imagine, Lenny hasn't seen her mother for eight years. She is dying to go back. So she'll spend at least several months when she goes back. And even though they are, even though they are apart, they've been able to talk on the internet and on the phone every day. Her son talks to her mom. And I suppose the others too, but he knows he's got a grandma. Todo el proceso is dos horas y media. Oh, for this hairdo. Wow, I see. But not everyone has hair that can be done this way. Am I right? Correcto. Correcto. Mm -hmm. Well, we can see the hair is changing. but I guess I'm going to find out. This is David, and he's from Panama. Do you think the students would like to visit Panama? Yeah, sometimes. What kind of food would they eat if they went there? Um, chicken and rice and pork and, you know... What would they eat for breakfast? For breakfast? Mm, I think it's different. It's like yuca and, and like eggs, you know, eggs. Yeah. And salami, you know salami in, 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 in the breakfast. Yeah. In the in Panama, yeah. So you eat yuca, yuca, and, and salami, and salami, and, eggs. and 
beans, the beans, beans, sour cream. For breakfast. Yeah, for breakfast. Oh, wow. Thank you.